Welcome to my YouTube channel, Maths with Ease by Mr. Kamoto. And um, in this video, I want us to have an explanation of um, the formula we have learned about calculating the area of a triangle. And we have said that um, if we have a triangle of even if it is right angle triangle, isosceles, equilateral, or even scalene, and this is A, and this is B, and this is C, meaning this is side A, this is side B, this is side C, the area of this triangle, area of this triangle, is given by a half times, if you are taking about this side, A, B, I have A, B, the sign of the angle in between or included the two sides. That is the area. If you want to use probably this angle, we will say that area is a half times A, C, A, C, the sign of B. And that is just it. But I want to explain using this triangle how this comes about. If you look at this particular corner, we have a triangle A, B, C. And this the whole of this side is side A. The whole of this side is side A. And this side is C. Uh, it is opposite angle C. And this side is side B. It is opposite vertex B. So we know this one is now the perpendicular height. You can see 90 degrees here. Ordinarily, we know the area of a triangle is a half times base, base length times the perpendicular, uh, a half times the base times the perpendicular height, the perpendicular height. And in this case, the perpendicular height, uh, as it were, or, or as you would expect, is actually the H itself. Is the H, this H you see here. So it follows that the area now, call it capital A, is a half times base, which is A, times H. But because we want to derive this from here, and uh, we know that H is not in the picture, we would want now to use triangle um, using triangle ACX. ACX. It is a right angle triangle. This is angle C. Right angle triangle, we are allowed to use the trigonometric ratios, the sine, the sine theta, the cosine theta, and the tangent theta. In other words, we are supposed to use what we summarized earlier on as soca, soca toa. Now, using that triangle, we can already see that um, the sine of angle C is opposite of a hypotenuse. The opposite is H, as you can see. The hypotenuse is B. And from here, you can already make H the subject of the formula and have H is equals to B sin C. H is equals to B sin C. In other words, if we are now using that, we can already see that H is equals to B sin C. Now, we would want to substitute H in this particular formula. And we have the area is a half times A times H, which is B sine C. And that is how now this formula comes about. In other words, now the area of the whole of this triangle ABC is a half times A, the whole of this A times this side B, times the sine of the angle included between the two used side. So this is now the Newland formula 
of how to find the area of a triangle. It is not a must that you start finding uh, the perpendicular heights. That is now how we shall actually be using, uh, that is the formula we shall be using to calculate the area of a triangle. Thank you and let us meet in the next video.